Okay, very good. Welcome everyone to our education session for today, Tuesday, September 1st. And Tomislav has uh, uh, some great topics lined up for us today. So go take it away, Tomislav. Uh, okay, so uh, for, for, the, for today, I, I was thinking uh, about uh, talking about uh, uh, about two subjects. Uh, so I have two requests from, from uh, uh, Grinder and from Toby about uh, somehow related subjects. Uh, uh, Toby is asking more about some specific stuff of uh, related to lenses and synchronization between models, uh, especially if uh, we have uh, uh, models that are changing in, in both the direction. And uh, Grinder was asking about uh, what node is doing about the, the whole process of uh, how the data is uh, you know, transferred from inside the node and what node is doing with, when we are creating deploy. And uh, maybe I can connect this to uh, how uh, two nodes are connected and how they are uh, transferring data. Because this is like, connected to, to these like, two models and uh, how they are synchronized. Uh, Very good, thank and you. And also I, I just want to mention so I will share my screen. Uh, uh, Ian asked me uh, about uh, how to get Val, uh, uh, our uh, from new, our, our new API, uh, how to get uh, validators who are uh, who, we, who, we, who are next to propose. So now now we have a much uh, faster uh, 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 block producing on on the mainnet because we, we resolved this one uh, one issue that we had. Uh, but uh, we still have this uh, validators uh, API. Uh, I can show how what what is in the in the JSON. So we have two fields. In one field is next to propose, uh, where it is the object of the uh, from few with few fields uh, to create a URL for the next validator who will propose. And you also have a, a sorted list of all the other validators who, 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 uh, who, will, who will propose after that. So this is like the whole list. Uh, I wanted to show example how to do this uh, directly on the page, but uh, I see now that we didn't uh, enable uh, fetching this with this fetch function from the browser. Uh, and the reason is uh, to be able to do this, uh, this API must uh, support, I'm gonna see the error somewhere. Yeah, I don't see error here. Uh, uh, so, so browser by default doesn't allow connection to, to the URL who are, uh, so, so this is like uh, security stuff that uh, you know uh, our browser are enforcing. Uh, if uh, this API doesn't have a header which allows uh, all origins to connect, not only the same domain, uh, then the browser will will fade to load. Uh, you can definitely do this directly in the URL, and this will work. But uh, uh, using this asynchronous call with uh, with the fetch. Uh, this will fail. So uh, I just wanted to say this uh, here. You know, we, we need to we need to upgrade uh, the, the service so, so that uh, this can be used from the browser. So this is about okay. that. Uh, so our our uh, our state and uh, uh, synchronizing the state. So first, uh, 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 I would like to uh, I would like to try to explain maybe connection between these lenses uh, and uh, the, the namespace, uh, namespaces what uh, Greg is uh, uh, explaining in, in his paper and how this is connected, uh, how, how this thing to, to, to these two things are connected uh, and uh, relates to state. Uh, first, I, I was thinking just to start with some, some description of uh, of, of some state and and uh, uh, and th this should be like very 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 uh, simple uh, simple tree. Uh, so let me see if I can make this a lot bigger. 
Is this big enough or maybe I can make everything bigger? Yeah, that's a good size. Okay. And I want to make this on top or how can I do this? Okay. And okay, this would be big enough. Uh, so how to represent the, the state? I was thinking to, to, to write this as a, as a tree because uh, uh, later I want to create some paths inside the tree. So how we, how we reference something that is uh, inside our state. Uh, and uh, let the path be, uh, let, let be like a, um, lowercase letters. And we, we can assign something to the, uh, to some specific, uh, or some specific location uh, in the tree. So let, let me create some, some, um, some, some of the values in, in this state. So this can be B. So I want to create uh, a tree. So this can be C and on C, I, I will have some value uh, anything. Uh, and also in, uh, uh, beneath the, 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 the B, we can have multiple values. We can have uh, another uh, D value here. And we can have another E and E doesn't have to, to, to be too much complicated than that. Okay. So this is our state. Uh, so my, my point is uh, how we reference, uh, so, uh, or, or example, this uh, C, uh, C value here. So it's, it's not accessible from the root. If, if, the, if we see this as a root, uh, this A uh, or E, they're, they're like part, part of the root. Right? Starting from, from top, we, we are immediately, uh, we, we see a, e, uh, e here. Mm -hmm. So we need to go one level uh, like deep or, or, or nesting to go inside to say, oh, this is E, uh, uh, F, where our, our value is. So, for example, uh, for for uh, for the C or or uh, path of C, we can say this is a root, and uh, with a slash, like in the same way you have in the browser the 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 address, uh, we are referencing some kind of uh, a tree structure. And if you remember, uh, Greg was ex exactly explaining how uh, inside the URL. Uh, that there is some implication that we have some st structure as a tree. So I will start from the root. So, so with the slash, uh, we, we are saying uh, the nesting in the, in the tree. So we are starting from A, we are going uh, a level down, so we are in, in, uh, in B, and then we are referencing C. So does this make sense? Y yes, I'm following. So, uh, in the same way, we can uh, define uh, uh, another path for, uh, for D, for example. So uh, again, we are starting from root, uh, we, are, uh, we are again on A, we are again on B, and then we, we, we have D. And now we, we, can, uh, we can definitely say uh, on this path, Uh, we have this value. Mm -hmm. And uh, on this path, we have uh, another value. Oh.
so we can uh, so now now uh, we can say uh, we can we can maybe, maybe define uh, and look uh, more closely it into our language of paths. Uh, how can we maybe define uh, this language? So bec because now uh, we have something uh, something that describes how to find location uh, in our tree structure, right? So so in the same way, if I'm saying. Uh, I, I mean, you, you, will, you will immediately know uh, what will happen. If I say, if I say, for example, uh, E and uh, G and H and I'm saying any number. So you will know, uh, you can say where uh, this H will be placed, right? I mean, you can, you can, mm -hmm. you can uh, 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 guide me where I can, uh, where I need to put this, uh, uh, this value here, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It, it must be, it must be uh, beneath uh, E here. So we need mm -hmm. first uh, we need to create G, but G is not uh, at the end. So so we, we need to to create another nesting mm -hmm. uh, inside G where we create another value H where we can put uh, this value inside. Right. So this is a representation of, for example, our uh, state one. Uh, Tomislav, one quick question. Can G have any value as well? Or does it have to be a node? Uh, well, no in this case, because uh, we are somehow implying that G is some kind of uh, branching. It contains multiple values. Like uh, B contains B and D, uh, C and D. I guess I was looking for, I mean, if I wanted to assign before, if I wanted to say um, uh, EG equal three, and then come back and say EGH equal five, I, I, I should, there's nothing stop, I'm, I'm assuming something similar to what you have for A, where you, A is a branch and has a value. Uh, this is an excellent question. And uh, I want to touch this a little later. Okay, fair enough. When, when we are uh, going to talk about uh, conflicts, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, 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 and before that, uh, I will mention it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep, keep your question in mind. <laughs> uh, because this is a great, great point, uh, 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 you know, what, what to do. Uh, so so uh, now we have uh, another state which can be uh, another maybe uh, Arnold. So uh, we can say that uh, our update, uh, for example, uh, uh, this expression, we can say, oh, this is our deploy, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have very simple state. We don't have rolling and uh, all the like, like general purpose language. We have very, very simple language. We have language language of paths and uh, which reference some some uh, uh, location in the tree. Uh, and even if this language, uh, we can have the, uh, s a situation where uh, maybe we are updating the, the same thing. So, for example, now uh, our nodes are uh, synchronized, and uh, what uh, Gorinder said, we can have situation where. Uh, we don't, for example, uh, this node doesn't know uh, for H, for, uh, for G. And uh, 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 from Gurinder's uh, uh, example, one node can say, okay, now, now I have uh, uh, something that is uh, exactly the same as here. I will delete 
this new data. So we have two nodes, they're synchronized, uh, they have uh, uh, all the things the same, and now we know what, 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 what to do if uh, this is update uh, of, uh, only on one node, right? One node will update uh, uh, this thing here, and uh, the other node uh, can update maybe the same thing, right? So what, what to do? Uh, uh, so we, we immediately see that uh, this will be the conflict uh, what to do with, uh, with the G. Uh, situation can be, can be a little simpler if uh, we have uh, something like uh, Z. Then, uh, then it's easy to, easy to say, okay, uh, G will be created uh, and uh, uh, beneath the G, we, we can create H and uh, when, when we receive another deploy, uh, we will detect that, uh, you know, G uh, uh, should be created in both, uh, in both cases and uh, Z can be added uh, to, uh, to G without any problems. Uh, H uh, doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't uh, prevent us to do this. So we can, we can have both. We can have uh, Z and H uh, uh, inside, the, inside the G. Uh, does this make sense, Grinder? Yes. Uh, the, the problem can be if uh, we are uh, assigning uh, directly value on G. Because we, uh, we are not uh, like recognizing uh, these two two different uh, type of values, right? Because I, I didn't say, oh, uh, B here is something special uh, because it accepts uh, uh, multiple nodes. Uh, in, in this representation, this is like automatically applied, you know, or, or when I create something beneath there, you know, it applies that this is some kind of collection, B is some kind of collection. And, uh, and, and this is exactly how, uh, for example, we are storing data uh, inside our node uh, to, to store our channels. So now, now I, I want to go, uh, for example, to define, I can do this in the, Uh, this language of paths. Uh, want to be something short. Uh, so we, we, we want to define some kind of grammar, uh, how we are uh, referencing this path. Because I, I want to make a connection uh, to Roland. So we can say that our path uh, can be one of the uh, one of the characters uh, a to z in lowercase uh, or so i'm making this pipe uh, as the oh i can i can maybe put it in the next line to say this is a another another construction so we can just say a and uh, th this will means uh, 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 just the the, the inner path but we can, we can construct uh, our path from existing path uh, slash with another path, right? So, so we can combine uh, whatever we have in the existing path uh, with uh, slash uh, uh, combined to another path. So this is like a very simple language that we have to specify the location uh, in, our, uh, in our structure. Right, so, so this, this defines uh, how, how we combine uh, uh, Greg, Greg is calling this a generator because uh, uh, this is how, how we are generating uh, uh, the, the, the URL. So this is, this is the way how we are combining and this is, this is how we are uh, creating new, uh, new values. So, from from there we can we can create any any part that uh, we like and we, we can also say uh, for example uh, 
okay, but how how you how you get this uh, slash on the uh, as the first character? Because this uh, language will, will will not allow us to do this. So maybe maybe we want to be completely uh, completely uh, uh, correct and say yeah, but uh, you have some kind of special name if this is the root. So maybe we can say uh, empty space or, you know, because I'm, I'm defining this part. So here is the empty space, <laughs> right? On front. So some, uh, uh, nothing is on front. So, so uh, maybe we want to say, yeah, uh, uh, this em emptiness is maybe zero, right? It's, it's, you can always put uh, 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 something on the, uh, uh, on the, on the, as the, as the first, as, as the starting of the, of the path. And this, this can be the root. Uh, so I can say here, oh, okay, we, we have this special uh, zero character mm -hmm. to, 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 to do this. And, and this zero can be interpreted in, in some ways that if it is on the end, we can just uh, delete it. Like it's like some kind of neutral uh, value. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So, so in state one, when we orig originally had a as the root and e as a root, uh, in our in our uh, path language, we're going to designate root as um, a slash a zero slash a or zero slash e. That's going to in our in our path language. That's how we're going to be designating roots is that correct yeah yeah maybe maybe i, I didn't say this very uh, uh in, in, in the best way because uh maybe it's, it's better to say that the uh, root uh, can be here something else and then uh, uh, in, inside that is uh, a and e or you know okay because okay. here so i i created a slash so mm -hmm. so that makes more sense because in in that first example state one uh, it, it, you know, I understood as A could be a root and E could be a root. And normally, I don't think as having multiple roots, you know, it, uh, a root is, you know, singular. It's just one. So if zero is the root and then uh, A and E are uh, uh, sub, sub paths off of that main root. So, and so, so with, the, with the path language, root now is zero and then as we go to create the tree a is a branch of the root and e is a branch of the root yeah yeah you, you, you're you're right uh uh maybe we can simplify and say uh because i, I said that they're both roots but uh, it's always applying that you have some parent right you're you're starting from state and say they're mm. sub uh, paths, right? Some paths, right? Yeah, because because uh, yeah, if you have multiple roots, you know, do, do you have something that is connecting these uh, multiple roots? And then again, you you are you are again, you can always get to some root, right? Because if if I say a a and uh, e are the mm -hmm. roots, they're part of the state. So mm -hmm. you can always say yeah, the state is the root for both. Ah, okay. Oh so, yeah, it's 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 correct. Okay. So okay. So so maybe. Uh, maybe it, it would be more understandable if I didn't create this uh, first sl slash to designate uh, like specific uh, uh, like to be to be uh, uh, explicit that I'm talking about the the, the root. So so maybe maybe uh, uh, for to, to be more more uh, simple, uh, I, I I will delete this because the, this is not the point. And uh, if this makes uh, any any confusion, then it's better to uh, to completely remove it. Okay. So I don't need to mention this. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, Jim, did, did you say something or? Uh, so so now we don't we, we can imagine that uh, if we have some path, we are all always talking about. Uh, like the whole state is the root. So whenever, whatever we have, uh, we are starting from the, the whole state. And this is our part. So, 
Tom Slav, you can still hear us, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Jim, mm -hmm. did, did you, what was your, did you have a question or did Thomas Slav answer your question? You, no, I, this is fine. We, you know, okay. um, he initially said, well, the, we can consider the root to be the empty string. There's nothing okay. comes before it, right? And okay. if we consider there to be an empty string at the beginning of it, then we would show the slash at the beginning. Hmm. Because it would be an empty string slash whatever. You hmm. would still have the root being the empty string, which he, uh, could, you know, we're, we're using zero instead of the empty string, but. Yeah, so. Same, but, same idea. Yeah, yeah. It, it, so I'm, I'm following. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm following the. Yeah, we, we, can, we can say that uh, the whole state is the root. So, so we exactly. don't, need, uh, don't need like, uh, like uh, this special case with uh, uh, just slash uh, 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 as the first. Gotcha. So, okay. So now, yeah. now, now we have like sim simpler situation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, so, so uh, this uh, path language is uh, description how we are uh, creating these paths. So, so how how we are creating location in our state where we are putting some value inside. Uh, so, wh 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 why I want to show this is uh, th this can be very. Uh, similar to, uh, to, to Rolling, right? We, we, can, we can see some uh, similarities. Uh, we can say, uh, here is the, the send. So now I, now I uh, th this send, uh, I can um, maybe write this like here, like this. I'm just adding this uh, 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 bang, bang, bang signal, bang, bang character as the like similarity to to uh, to rolling, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, for example, uh, another way uh, is uh, that we we we, we want to. Um, Uh, how can I s define something? So this can be a row here and uh, I want to write here something that can uh, give you idea how send and receive are creating uh, a path definition in our state uh, where uh, we are combining uh, our, our forgeable names. Sorry, this is, and here, okay, here we are putting value or, or but this is not important. Let's just do this, and here we can we can uh, execute some another expression that we have. So uh, I want to show similarities with uh, with the path when we are when when we are creating uh, some something that, uh, and of course we have our par. row in par with row. So this pipe is, is uh, not the same as this pipe. So this pipe is uh, saying this is different expressions in our language and this pipe is inside our language. It's, it, uh, the, it, it has the same purpose as the slash. Maybe I can, I can uh, put slash here. Just, you know, we can change the rolling uh, uh, here <laughs> for this purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so now when, when I write, uh, I'm sending something on A and I will receive something on A and now I will send 
so whatever I receive here on A prime, I mean, it's not, now it's difficult because we, are, we, we need to ima imagine something here, but uh, you know, this is like not, not, not important here. We just want to say that now we are, we are going uh, 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 nesting, right? We, we, we want to uh, uh, somehow create, uh, maybe I can just, uh, yeah, A prime, and then we are sending on uh, A prime. And uh, this, uh, let, let's let's call this B. So it's not like the correct rolling or something. Uh, just, just look, just just try to look at how uh, this A B are are nested. They they are they're like inside. Uh, but we are using using send and receive to go in, inside. Uh, I will I will try to I will try to. Uh, somehow connect this to, to, to uh, representation in the, in, in the, in the R node. Uh, but basically, uh, uh, I want to create the same structure here. So A, B, and C. So I need to go uh, uh, even more uh, inside. So I'm, now, now, I, now I'm, I'm inside A, uh, I, I create, I'm creating B, so maybe I don't need to do this here, uh, at all, just like this. So we don't care about this value. We, we can remove it completely. So it's not confusing us at all. So it's like very strange rolling, but you know, we are removing all, all the all the additional stuff. So with rolling, we, we have general purpose. We can do lots of computation, but with uh, with a path, we can only reference some location. So this is why I'm trying to reduce the rolling just on the like this nesting inside the state. And uh, here we have another four because this is how we are uh, uh, going in the, in the nesting. So here we have this uh, arrow and uh, we, we are uh, listening on B uh, and uh, we are going uh, even more inside. And here we will say, yeah, I have C and in C, uh, we will write 42. Uh, what, what I want to show is uh, with, the pa with the path, it's very easy to understand how we get this nesting. But when you, when you look and think about rolling, you not immediately see this nesting. But uh, this is exactly what uh, Greg is talking about namespaces. Uh, because our A, which we are creating with new and right. This is our, our forgeable name. Yeah. Sorry. Never mind. Uh, so uh, with uh, first we 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 are, we are creating this A and this A uh, is created like this, right? So uh, we can create these names uh, in, in in each or we can create a new name, right? This A is created a, a new here, and then inside four, we're creating a new name here, and then mm -hmm. inside this four, a new name C. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is exactly what we are creating in Arnold. We are creating unforgeable name A, and in, inside this unforgeable name A is the B. So with our rolling and how we are writing the rolling code, uh, uh, we are basically defining location in the state. This is our variables. This is our, our, our state. We, we, uh, we have this nesting. So uh, when we have rolling code uh, mm -hmm. with the new uh, A, and when we have a uh, new uh, uh, well, this is not enough. We, we, we need to have four to have nesting because this is how uh, rolling is uh, uh, creates this, this uh, nesting values. So here, uh, when we when we say new uh, B, uh, 
uh, rolling will, will create uh, the the random the random seed will be created will be started from here the random seed means that each branch uh, is starting with different uh, with different uh, seed uh, but I didn't explain uh, how, how we uh, using this seed so uh, we are getting creating variables uh, we, uh, we are creating variables from random numbers but we need to do this always in the deterministic way so we have this uh, pseudo random generator which which is uh, deterministic from the seed so uh, when when we write a new a uh, rolling will will say okay what is my uh, current seed which i'm tracking so so this is the value that uh, all validators uh, uh, knows what, what is the seed and it will use the seed to create new orthological name uh, then uh, this uh, random value uh, for 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 this unforgeable name uh, for uh, this new seed uh, will be used for another nesting to create another uh, unforgeable name. Mm -hmm. So 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 mm. basically, we, are, we 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 can imagine that we have something like this: that uh, our our rolling code uh, when we when, when we create a new a a new something. Uh, we are creating just another branch from the root. So every uh, our every deploy uh, uh, is like a new branch uh, uh, in our state. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in basically, in our root or, or, or our state. So uh, mm -hmm. our giant uh, rolling state is not super nested tree structure. It, it's it's uh, very shallow, and you have lots of deploys from the root, uh, 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 like I, I, I'm searching some some <laughs> some some word to say how how it's uh, put together, right? Uh, uh, it's, it's each of these branch can be uh, uh, one deploy. So this is why uh, I, I said that this uh, E uh, G H can be another deploy. Where we are saying, yeah, I'm creating uh, a new branch and I'm putting this value inside. I'm creating new rolling code and I'm creating new branch in this giant state with my deploy. And you can immediately see that there is no influence between, between uh, uh, different branches. Because I said that random generator will always create different variable for different branch. So there is no connection. Our, our, each hour deploy is completely separated. So the only way uh, we can somehow connect different branches is that we are sending these channels, right? Because uh, from, what, for, for, from my deploy, uh, this name that no one can know, this is why this name is unforgeable, uh, mm -hmm. it will be completely inaccessible to anyone else if we don't have like a registry where you can say, oh, now I'm using some global variable and uh, I will put my B uh, on some place where some other deploy can access this variable and do something. And this is where we are connecting multiple branches so that mm -hmm. this branch, which doesn't know about E and uh, F, can somehow uh, receive uh, F here. So, uh, 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 I'm going into the direction that uh, uh, how, how can we visualize uh, what, is, uh, what we are doing with, uh, with the state when we are writing uh, wrong problem. That, so, so, I guess we can think of um, the namespaces not not so much as a you know a, a tree with all of these nestings but it's in a sense very very shallow and and we're able to get these values uh, uh, on uh, on the on these on the on the channels and that's yeah. that's that yes. that's our, our, even, our, even though it's mm -hmm. even though it's shallow mm -hmm. yes yes our our, our channels uh, with the send and receives, 
uh, we are uh, poking into the state. We are saying, we are saying oh, send, uh, 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 send on, on, on this channel, then receive on this channel. And uh, we, are, we, we are somehow creating with uh, rolling itself. Uh, we are going uh, deep, deep into the, into the path that we are selecting. For example, you, you know, you, you can send uh, from this branch, you can send, uh, you, you can access this value on the registry and then you can send something from another deploy, another branch. And from this, you can uh, transfer this to another branch. And, you know, so you are moving through, through the branches from one branch to another branch to another branch. So this is the location. This is the namespace that you are, that you can access. Okay. So and, mm -hmm. when you when uh, when you evaluate Rolang, okay, all the names you use are replaced with x zero, x one, x two, x three. So I guess it, that, is that what you mean by generating na these names? Uh, uh, I, I think when, when I was saying that uh, this is the generator as a definition of this spot. Okay. So I said, so this the, is the generator. A and Z right? isn't the same as the X0 to X26 that Roland generates. Uh, yes, you, you, you're talking about uh, the Bruin indices when we are defining uh, like variables. But uh, here I'm not concerned at all about the variables. Right. So when I'm saying generating uh, unforgeable name, uh, I really mean uh, more on the lower level. Where, where the R space is storing the, the data, the storing the role. Because Greg said that uh, R space and Roland, they're they basically the same, but uh, they, they have different representation. Rolling is uh, where we are you know, uh, writing our programs and uh, R space is really this uh, uh, tree structure when we uh, replace not only with X0, X1 uh, on the level of Rolling evaluator, but we are replacing this completely on, with uh, a random hash. So we will take the seed and we will say, oh, uh, you, your new A will be replaced with uh, 32 bytes hash. You know, just random, random number. Uh, uh, what, what uh, uh, your deploy is starting always with some specific seed. And all the validators know what is the next seed. So uh, all validator uh, will, uh, when they execute uh, this new A, they will generate, uh, all val validator will, will generate the same uh, random hash uh, for this variable. Ah, uh, okay. At the, at the end, uh, we, uh, so I'm replacing this A and I'm saying, okay, let's not think about all of this complexity. Uh, let's think about this A already uh, 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 as uh, some kind of hash. But in the real life, we, we need to have like real hash random. So we can, you know, we all can write programs and, you know, this uh, generator will always generate the new names. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, when we, we, we want just to think about on, on some specific case, then it's much easier that we say, okay, we will, you know, we will think uh, uh, this immediately as uh, some, some uh, like uh, uniquely defined uh, uh, value. And then when, when uh, B is created, B is based on the seed of A and yes. all validators know what A is. So it's uh, even though it's random, but deterministic. So we take the seed of A and create the randomness uh, to create what B is. So it, so that's how we're creating this this hierarchy because everything is based on the seed of the previous uh, yes. unforgeable name. Yes. I'm sorry. Let me. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit confused now. So <clears throat> the assumption is A is already um, uh, has a uh, is on the on all the validators already. Correct. Mm -hmm. Is that the yes. assumption we're making, or are we making an assumption yes. that A is created in this in this piece of code itself? Yes, I, I, I was saying that uh, state uh, one and state two are uh, now the same, and they are on both okay. validators. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, yep. Okay, sorry. Where, where, where do validators store the seed? 
the seed uh, is uh, calculated. I'm thinking, can I can I show this uh, directly in the code? Uh, a little bigger. So let's, for example, uh, see how we uh, how we process deploys. So here uh, we are accepting function to process deploy. So I need to go uh, level up. Process deploy. So uh, this code is. Uh, uh, a little bit uh, uh, difficult to understand because it's using uh, more, more transformers, but uh, uh, I, will, I will try to, to just point to, to in, like important part. Uh, first, we need to execute pre-charge. This is what we are executing before we are executing deploy. After we execute, uh, then we execute deploy, and after that we are executing refund. This is our process of uh, execu uh, like execution of one deploy. And here we can see uh, we are uh, we are supplying uh, the random generator. So we are we are constructing this uh, random seed from something uh, uh, that, that is unique. For example, uh, uh, for for easier uh, easier example is uh, deploy. So let's go to the deploy and see where. Uh, random generator is uh, created. Um, where is random generator? I need to go. Evaluate. OK. So here uh, uh, we are calling evaluate on our uh, deploy. And uh, here is the random generator created. Uh, from deployed public key and from the time step. And this is logical, right? Because to get uh, unforgeable name from Arnold uh, uh, currently for, for uh, uh, to predict unforgeable name, uh, we can supply these two information to Arnold and get this from API. So this is how uh, how we are uh, determining the, the seed uh, for our deploy. So for for uh, deploy, this will be the the public key and the timestamp together to to generate the seed. Uh, I will go back and just show you the same thing for precharge. For precharge, we don't have deployed public key and timestamp. Uh, but we can use something else from this deploy. So let's go there. So here we uh, we are uh, we are creating this uh, seed from deploy signature, which should be uh, always unique, and we are splitting this uh, on zero index. And why on zero index? Because for refund, uh, we will use the same seed, but we will split it at index one. So this split really means, oh, create me another, <laughs> another nesting in my random generator and start generating from there. Does it, it, this make sense? How, how uh, 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 this uh, random generator is, we can see it as, as, the, as a tree, starting from, from the root, uh, and, and, and this root is, in our case, uh, deploy signature. And then, uh, because we are using this uh, initial seed uh, for uh, pre-charge and refund, and we need to, to have different, we are going uh, uh, in the level down 
and we are using the first index for, for uh, pre-charge and the second index for refund. So we have two different uh, seeds for uh, pre-charge and refund for both of our deploys to be completely different with different variables. Um, uh, I guess the, the pre-charge are figuring out if they have enough money to run the thing, right? Yes, yes, pre-charge is uh, taking you flow limit. Uh, whatever you specify in deploy, we are taking the flow limit uh, until we are done with the deploy. And then we will, if deploy is successful and you have uh, uh, something that uh, we need to return, then we'll, we will execute uh, this another uh, rolling code refund to get your, uh, this uh, difference, uh, like uh, returning you back. This is the process that we are doing in, in this code. First, we are executing pre-charge, executing uh, your deploy. And if uh, your deploy is successful, uh, then we will do the refund. But if your deploy is uh, uh, with some kind of error, then refund will not, never happen. And we will take uh, all your, your full limit from your account. So why do you need different uh, seeds for pre-charge and refund? Uh, we need different seeds so that uh, this unforgeable name created in refund with new A is different from new A in the pre-charge. Okay, thank you. Because each deploy you can see as, uh, as the one branch from the state. So we, we need to generate always different uh, the, the, these uh, uh, unforgeable names. So A, uh, 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 with a different uh, name here, I'm suggesting that this is different unforgeable name. And we don't want to write different unforgeable names directly in the rolling code. We want to write like any name that we like, but uh, when roll, rolling is executed, uh, then these names will be re replaced with these unique names. Gurinder, do, do, do you have any question? I mean, do, 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 is this uh, uh, like intro uh, uh, give you some kind of notion of uh, uh, how, how, uh, how this state is uh, like uh, um, populated or? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, this is very helpful. Um, this, this, this clears up a lot of fog. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But, but, uh, because I'm, I'm also thinking in these terms when I'm thinking uh, in, in rolling, you know, it's because you cannot uh, just e easily uh, create uh, random uh, numbers in, in the head and, you know, uh, and it's much easier if you, if you think about like normal letters as the unforgeable names and this is like branches and, you know, and uh, deploys is just the, the, the path to some specific point and we are changing this value. And from there, this is like good intro where, where we can talk about, oh, what happened when we have conflicts? You know, what to do? Can we detect conflicts? And this is exactly how, uh, uh, how block merge will, will work. You know, we, will, we will detect that, that uh, you know, uh, deploy in one node is in conflict with deploy in another node. They're, they're, they're specifying the same, the same path to the state. And we will detect this path and, and we will say, okay, th this cannot be merged. Be you know, because both the deploys cannot change the same value here. So we will just discard one deploy and we will say, yeah, this deploy is not valid. I, I, think, I think we're sort of a little bit out of time today, but uh... Um, I'm not sure if others are as much interested, but I'm certainly interested in, in understanding, um, you know, drilling it further down and say, okay, fine. You know, we, we do a deploy. Now, what, how does that move internally on one validator node? What, what steps the, val uh, the validator node goes through? And then how does that propagate it to the rest of the network? Um, and, and, and particularly, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly curious because, I'm, you know, about the fork choice tips and, and, 
and uh, just when, when you you know uh, uh, decide on what, when when a um, uh, block is finalized, uh, what are the criteria for that? So so like I, I'm fa mm -hmm. I'm going to be fascinated to hear the the your journey for this this new change that you're putting in the last finalized state. What did you have to do? to have from Genesis block to come to the last finalized state, what, what actually in, uh, under the hood got changed. So that would be a, a good and uh, helpful understanding of the network internals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yes, so, yes. Uh, yeah, so, so, I mean, I, I, have, I mean, I can keep you uh, busy for a couple of years, Tomislav, for, for this education session. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of, lots of things that we will add to rolling. So yeah, this is, a couple more years, uh, you know, on, on top of that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that, this was the helpful. So, so thing I, I, I just want to just want to say that uh, uh, you mentioned uh, Fortress Steep blocks uh, last one I stayed. Uh, so I just want to say uh, uh, I don't want, want to go into details right now. I just want to say that there are two different things: uh, blocks and state. Uh, state is the rolling and the uh, blocks is to package up changes so that we can get consensus uh, of uh, uh, on the on the state itself so the the whole point of the blocks is to carry the changes and to carry the st uh, the hash the root hash of the state because uh, how state is constructed uh, is constructed in that way that when you uh, when you have this uh, uh, tree of uh, values and uh, uh, nesting and you know this all uh, affordable names generated with uh, random seed and uh, and uh, when they are constructed in this uh, tree uh, there there is a code which is uh, the Merkle tree. Uh, where this tree is, uh, how this tree is structured. And uh, the feature of this Merkle tree is that you can, at the end, you can, you can take the hash of each uh, node in the tree and you can, at the end, you can calculate the root hash, which uh, uniquely defines the whole tree. And this un unique hash, uh, which uniquely defines the tree, uh, this is what is stored in the block. This is the, the, the main thing in the block is, is this root hash. Because when node calculate your deploy, and, uh, and for example, add this deploy uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the tree, it will recalculate the hash, right? Because this is a different tree, this is a different structure, this, is, this will be the different tree. But when other node uh, is doing the same thing and apply the same deploy, with the same help of changes in the block, because you know you're, you you can execute rolling in uh, the same code uh, can be executed in multiple ways because you know of non, non determinism. So this is why you need uh, changes from the block, this event log, to say, oh, I I I, I executed this rolling, but I choose this specific path, and this path must be validated that is correct. But if uh, we are assuming that this is correct. Uh, this another node will create completely the same tree and it will get completely the same root hash. And this is how uh, we are using blocks to say, oh, uh, I, I, I created this, uh, uh, I, I have these deploys and I, I modify the state and another value can say, okay, I, I will try to do the same. Uh, did I have the same root hash? Yes, okay, uh, 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 you, are, you are telling the truth. If this uh, state hash is not the same, we know what happens. We uh, we we seen with the uh, TO node uh, when the uh, state hash uh, uh, we, we, uh, has mismatch. So this basically means you apply your deploys and you get the, the different result. So you know someone is lying here. Okay, interesting. All right, yeah, I mean. Uh, um... Uh, it, that would be a, another a use case to, to sort of like look into um, exactly uh, what, what the uh, um, 
So do we? I mean, not not to get sidetracked, but do we know the 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 root cause of why that mismatch happened with Theo's node? Yes. Or was that just randomness? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, we know uh, from the from the later from the later uh, uh, error that we that we had uh, the same error. Uh, if you remember, the, uh, there was a bug with uh, unsorted joints and uncertain binds in the joints, which caused that uh, uh, let me just quickly uh, so here I explained how uh, oops, how this nesting uh, Uh, okay, this is not completely the same example, but uh, it will work. Uh, so you, uh, when you write something like something like this, uh, uh, listening on two channels. So now the, the question is, you can write this uh, uh, in, in uh, two different ways and uh, they are both the same. And this is uh, B. So these two, two expressions, rolling expressions are completely the same. It doesn't matter how you how you uh, uh, place this uh, uh, li listening on, on the channels, but when we are storing this in our tree in our state, this must be the same. So whenever you write in rolling in, in one way or another, this must be always in the in the state in the same way, because there there, there is no. Here we are. I'm not saying, oh, th this is the, the com event, or this is just the record in the state. This is just the record, right? Y you have the path, and uh, you know that you are listening, and you know that inside you are sending. So there is no like home events or anything. Th this is just uh, like two records, two receives. I mean, I don't want to confuse that uh, this is something here. Like, it doesn't matter what is here. Uh, so the bug was. Uh, that when we were uh, saving this to our space, we didn't do the sorting. So after we generate, uh, 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 after we have our forgeable names here, replaced from the real names, from the, uh, our names that we, we uh, uh, specified, uh, uh, we didn't sort, sort these uh, hashes. And that was the problem that sometimes, very rarely, uh, it, will, it can happen that, uh, you know, these hashes are uh, sorted in, in different way and you will have different hash uh, on, on, on this node and this will result in different hash on the root. And this is the hash mismatch. Is this, uh, is this make sense? Uh, yeah, no, I got it. Yep, no, I understood. So now, now we are basically just making sure they are both uh, on both sides in the same order. Yes. Okay, got it. Yes. For wh wh whatever you write in the rolling, uh, in the R space, that will be the same. If this is uh, uh, unimportant in rolling, uh, it will be saved uh, always uh, the same in the, in the state. I can relate this to, 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 to uh, what I was explaining about set and list, if you remember. Uh, yeah. I said that if you, if you have uh, one and two in the set, then if you, if you have another set with one and two, they're the same. But when you say I have one, two in the list, okay, if you have two, one in another list, well, this is not the same. So uh, how to encode set, if, if, you just, uh, if you just try to think, how can you store set so you can be sure that, uh, that you can say to someone, I have two, two sets the same. Right, if I give you one and I give you two, or if I give you two and then one. So if you are pretending that you are set, you need to do something, right? You, 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 and, and the easiest way to say, oh, I will, I will just sort elements, right? Whatever you give me, I will, I will always sort, you know? So if you have sorted elements, you don't have a problem. You, you, you're basically implementing set. So if I'm giving you two and one and one and two, it doesn't matter because you are always sorting. 
and we are doing exactly the same thing. We are always sorting whatever the give, whatever uh, user is uh, writing here in Rolling. We will always uh, sort the values, and the uh, state will always be the same. So basically, we are implementing semantics of Rolling uh, in a way uh, uh, of uh, uh, ordering these uh, elements, so that we can guarantee that uh, Rolling semantics of uh, uh, of joins is uh, correctly implemented. You know, however you write, uh, this will result in the, in the same code, in the same R space state. Got it. Okay. Thanks, I think uh, we can yeah, we, 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 yeah, because I, I'm going to quickly go and uh, track down this uh, some issue in testnet right now. Um, but I will um, uh, thank you again. I mean, this this is really helpful. And maybe um, we can uh, continue on uh, for a little while on, on this thread. And uh, then maybe go back to what your original programming was that you had planned. Yeah, this is all connected. So I'm okay. jumping. I'm jumping from one, uh, from one uh, like uh, subject to another. Which you know, I just want to to to, to give you uh, different perspectives. You yeah. know how how uh, when I talk about uh, state and operations, you see how rolling these operations here in the state, and they're basically the same thing, but you know different representation. So we want to have operations who can. Uh, change the state. So this is why uh, URLs are good for some state, but you know you cannot program program with uh, just the paths in URL, right? You, you know you're pretty limited. But with rolling, we have general purpose language. We can encode everything what what we like, and but we are still uh, modifying the state in very uh, specific way. We have strict rules, you know how how you can modify the state, and. Uh, 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 R node is exactly implementing uh, all of these rules so that you know uh, 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 this state, which is like a new giant immutable variable, uh, is updated. You know, always correct. Yeah. And with the behavioral types, we will have additional layer where we can, uh, uh, in compile time, we can check. You know, oh, is this your program uh, will changing the state in some way that uh, you know we are not allowed. This kind of thing. And I hope this is like also uh, introduction, good introduction for uh, for uh, Toby's uh, interest of you know how um, uh, multiple models are uh, synchronized. I can I can talk about this uh, uh, in the next session Great. because th th this is really related to conflicts and you know, and this is why Greg is saying if there is no conflicts then you are just up, uh, you are just updating the state right if you if you have two deploys which are updating different branches and they are not uh, uh, updating the same thing uh, they are not connected you can just execute in parallel and you, you don't need to s think about anything you, you you just update the state you know and that's it because they are they are different branches right this is completely uh, obvious when you think about uh, trees if there are different branches, you can do whatever you like. So this is what, how how we can completely separate and uh, execute uh, everything in parallel. Okay, I, I think I can. Uh, we can uh, close for today. Great, thank you, uh, that, was, uh, that was great. As always. Cool. Um, Thanks. Thanks. I okay, will um, jump.